Well, hello there. We finish our journey to Muse Mobile by going to where we started in Fireworks. The page that we wanted to do is basically a travel site for Paris. It uses a great big background image. A little graphic here. Please remember this is the Animate Rotator. And we got a bunch of little images in here. And this is kind of the design we wanted to go with. When it came to the mobile side of the things, we needed to come up with some sort of uh, header, some strips for navigation, and of course, we wanted to have something for the animate content. So let's pop over to Muse and take a look at how all this was put together. So we'll go over to Muse. Now Muse is available off the Creative Cloud site. It's a free download, and go ahead and knock yourself out and download it. And when you create a page, you get three choices. You get desktop, tablet, and phone. This is brand new to this release of Adobe Muse. So there's the desktop version. There it is for the tablet. And there it is for the phone. And if you want to take a look at it, what you do is you just double click and away you go. Now this is the animate content. I'm going to take this out and put it back in. And to to put that OAM file in, all you have to do is go to Place, navigate to the folder where the OAM file from Animate is located, click Open, and you can see there's a little icon here, and you can click, and then just resize it into place. Well, there we go. It's in place, and it will work. In fact, you can preview it. There it is, and in comes the content. Now if we go to the tablet, it's just a smaller version of the home page. And if I open it, you can see there it is there. And if we preview it, again, in comes the animate content. You notice there's no distortion or anything like that with it. And if we go back to the phone, there it is there, and if we preview that, you can see there's the phone. Now here's the really cool thing about working with many of these. Especially with the phones, you get a series of phones. You get the iPhone 4, notice the uh, small screen. The iPhone 5, which takes into account a larger screen size. Samsung Galaxy S3, which is uh, an Android smartphone. And of course, the Nokia Lumina 920, which is a Windows 8 based phone. So we'll just go back to the iPhone 4. And if I go to the tablet, you'll notice you don't get the uh, choices in preview. You get the iPad, but you get Nexus, Kindle, and of course the Windows Surface. And if you choose it, you notice that the design changes. Okay, we're going to go back to iPad. Now, how do you get this out of here? Well, there are two ways of doing it. Uh, the first way is just click Publish. And what will happen is, is you will go to a business Catalyst site. And I've already got this up on uh, Catalyst, so it's looking for it. There it is right there. And if you want to uh, note this uh, URL, parisexercise.businesscatalyst.com, you can open it up on your smartphone or your tablet and take a look at it. Okay, I'm going to cancel that. Another place where you can do this is right here, is export as HTML. It's going to ask you what the name of your domain is. And then it's just going to start exporting all the uh, HTML files, and then it'll open it up in the browser for you. But you notice it doesn't really give you the responsiveness that you would expect. Now these files all wind up over here. I'm just going to kick out of uh, Fireworks. And if I go over to my Documents folder, there's a folder there called Muse, and it's all in here. This is the index file, and you'll notice it creates a phone version for you, and it creates a tablet version for you as well. And I've uploaded all these to my website, too. Uh, if you go to 
dot tom on the web four dot ca backslash muse backslash phone or tablet you can uh, open it up on your iPhone or your tablet now I can show you what it looks like on a tablet because I've got reflect working here which is a uh, little uh, Mac app which I think is kind of neat actually and there it is there on a tablet and it's uh, I've got my iPad connected to uh, my business catalyst site and as you can see there it is on an iPad now a couple of things about working with uh, Muse I'm just going to uh, open the Muse site a couple of things about working with Muse uh, first off this is uh, a great way of learning how to design websites the uh, uh, a lot of people in the industry have sort of taken a dim view of uh, Muse in that they can't control the code, which is fine. But Muse is kind of aimed at the uh, designer market, those that really are not interested in working with code. And also, it's a wonderful application for clients that don't have big budgets that would normally go to an agency or a web shop. So you keep that in mind because you can uh, quickly create web pages and so on. Uh, in Muse in literally half the time it would take to do it in other applications. So there you go. There's the entire process from Fireworks where we designed the graphics to Animate where we created the content rotator and over here to Muse where we've created Home and, or again and over to Muse where we've created desktop, tablet and phone versions of our site.